I do a lot of shell dwellers. They're not, you know, they're not a great producer. They, uh, they take a long time to grow. They produce small batches. They're species tanks, so you got to keep them together in a specific tank just for them to, uh, to do well. It takes a while to get them going, and then when they got a nice established colony, they continue to breed and do pretty well. You know, because I've got a lot of different ones out here, and I do the best I can with what I've got. The hatchery, these are the brevis, little young ones. I've got a lot of shell dwellers finally starting to breed. You know, it's been the summer. There's some similis. Coming along. This is uh, Signifus. Little young ones. Parents are in there somewhere hiding in the shells. Here's some little uh, Miller Grease. Miller Grease? Tanks are getting pretty good. Lots of shell dwellers. We got a few. You know what? This is a good one. This is a little Julie's. Those are the I think Gombies. Yeah, Gombi transcriptus. Lots of little guys. Finally, the gold ocelotus is finally breeding, which is nice to see. All young ones come out. Little small pots with a little hole on the side and the shells. That's what I tend to use for shell dwellers. And I like to pack quite a bit of them in there. The problem is, is a lot of these, they uh, like also a lot of bad for that. They'll bury most of them. They'll be in the shell and just keep one with a little hole on the side and you know that that's it. They they're not gonna keep all the other shells available. They're gonna bury every one of them and just keep one for themselves. Right now it's been uh, it's summer, so a lot of fish are breeding, they're looking good, but it's really hard to work out here in Florida. The weather's so hot, the building is so hot. Right now it's a a little cooler at night but during the day it's like 90 degrees in here so I don't spend a lot of time too much in here a couple hours and I cool off. Uh, working the fish during the day is hard. I go early morning and late at night so right now it's evening so I'm back in the building. So it's all it's all good it's just a lot of these guys they uh, got to keep working at them you know got to keep working at them keep feeding them take out the water make sure that Water quality is good, water changes, fresh food, and uh, let them do their things. <laughs> Nature. Little manicapur angels. Got them scattered all over the place. Got some uh, albino brachardis, just first batch. Little albino brachardis. Oh, well, this is Bullinger lachromis, the loopies, and uh, some other shell dwellers. A little mix. These guys need a home. I'm not going to be doing Tuscana jewelfish. It's not part of the plan. Here's some. Uh, Little Manekapuru angels. Well, they're in here. There we go. Reflection. Lots of reflection. Well, second batch of congoensis. <laughs> they did pretty good. I bring them as a colony so they can produce. Little well, congoensis. Looking pretty good. Breeders are here, a little colony of them. There's 
gold severums are breeding. So, season's doing pretty good. The festes are doing well too. We've got lots of festes coming up, but they're not ready. They're too small. These guys are about to breed. So is these guys. And then another pair here. Here's one of my favorite, Ornatus. There's a female here. And the male. That's the female. Oh, sorry dude. I'm scaring you. Female. And here's the male right there. Ornatus. Female's a little bit bluer. I've got spawn of those here. Hiding. Angels. I've been breeding again, so work in progress. I keep going. It's been really hot out. Oh, don't want to be out here. Got to cut all this grass. Look at this. Crazy. I cut it last week, and now it's like a foot tall.